What's going on my crew? This is Jay, and welcome to another episode of Jay's Adventures. And in today's episode, we are continuing on. Um, probably gonna be moving away from here next episode, but for right now, um, wow. I have to say, holy cow, because I've done some work, and I have to tell you guys, this place looks really good uh i'm not saying that to make myself puffed up i'm just saying look at the facts um i will say this for a primitive village this looks good i was every once in a while when i think i'm doing really good and like i'm a really good builder or something like that typically what i do is i go online and i look at some of the stuff people build and wow it really humbles you it makes you think you know I may be alright but I'm definitely I definitely still have some room to improve let's go and do well no what no not yet I wanna I wanna show you guys look at this let me see if I can jump oh, there we go um Yes, I absolutely adore this place right now. Um, the military village is alright, and I like it. Um, but this is probably my favorite right now because it's really developed. I went ahead and I built the road around here to complete it. And um, just because I wanted to see where we're at with, with things... And because, uh, well, let me, let me explain this. So we do have a road out here and I do want to add some torches around on this. Um, we do have a road right around here. Where's my sword? Let's get into a place like right here where they won't follow us just yet. Right into the head. All right, here we go. Um, we do have a road right there. But, if you look, it stops right here. And the reason why it stops right here is because the road was going to continue and go around, but it didn't end up doing that. And I want to keep this. This is where things uh, start to become random. Because originally, the road that was going to lead over here was stopped because of an event, a historical event. And as you guys can see, when we do the simulation, I mean the real battle, that guy ain't gonna last. Um, I did want to put up torches and kind of take a look through what's going on. Um, torches, by the way, are only going to be put in places um, where it makes logical sense to put them in there. Oh, don't you blow up! The reason for that... Um, is actually because I don't want torches to kind of be scattered about all, all across the ground here. Um, I want some logic to them. We can actually put some torches up here. Which should help. But yeah, um, again, these walls... The cool thing about them is when the if they survive the attacks, um, if their civilization survives, I should say, some of the people will obviously still survive. What's going to happen is that... Oh, the skeleton. Ow. Taste diamond steel. Um, these walls are going to end up defining the inner city when, you know, the inner city becomes the inner city. So... Going back to Roman villages like we, we had in the past in Jay's Adventures. Um, where... <sighs> Stupid guy. I just want to add torch here and a torch here. Okay, is that so much to ask? Uh, going back to the Roman villages that we were doing a while back. Um, one of the cool things... I want some glowstone. Let me see if I have glowstone because I want to put some glowstone in this tree. What we we had there is is we were sort of trying to build 
to a Roman village. And the problem with that is that it doesn't allow for things to develop naturally. I don't think I have any glowstone. For instance, we have this temple here, which is great. Um, first of all, let me just say I love this temple. It's one of my favorite builds that I've built. It's so simple, yet inside it it's, looks like a legit temple. Um, the thing with the temple is that as the city grows, this temple isn't going to expand. It's not going to do anything. It's going to stay here. So this courtyard, this little arch that I've built here, this temple, it's not going to go away. That castle could expand. These buildings could all be knocked down and uh, the tree could be cut down. I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to. I'm just saying it could be. And all these things uh, could change. But that temple is going to stay the same. So, uh oh. Right here, this guy. Oh, I hope they didn't get hurt. Oh no. Where? What's going on? I'm trying to save these villagers. Hmm. Interesting. Let's continue to light up things. I don't know why, but all day I've been plagued with lag. Um, I did my live stream today for about 16 minutes. And then I just quit because I had so much lag that it was ridiculous. Um, you know, there comes a point in time... How? Well, first of all, they're coming in through these trees. So there is no wall protected. No! No, 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 no. Okay, abort mission. Because this... We're killing off half our population with just these guys. You know, I'm glad Mojang made these into little hordes of craziness. But, honestly... I'm sick of it. But yeah, uh, I'm going to get... Here's how it's going to work now. Uh, for the live stream, I mean. I'm going to go get... A webcam. Um, and then I'm going to... Start live streaming again. Now, I may do another live stream before I get the webcam... Uh, we're still going to go with the Terra Firmacraft thing because I really like that idea. It's just that it wasn't, it didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out. So, um, we're going to continue that idea. We're just going to do it in a way that's better. I will be able to do Terra Firmacraft on here and live stream it at the same time with really nice graphics and stuff like that. It's just a pain in the butt because I was really hoping to be able to do it. Um, with the Terra Firma craft that we already have. I mean, with the um, laptop that I got. Um, the laptop is going to end up being a render. I want to take some of this stuff down because I'm going to go with a different idea. Um, yeah, the laptop is good for extra rendering when I um, need extra rendering. The problem is, until I get my um, hard drive back, which I keep forgetting at my friend's house, um, I won't be able to transfer massive amounts of video footage over to this new render computer, so I won't be able to have a good constant render going on. Um, so that's it, that. Alright. So, um, oh, you, sir, are dead. So what we've got now is we've got a very nice village, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Next episode, we're going to be going back over, and uh, I'm going to off-camera work on the barracks and get those finished, and then work on that little courtyard thing and finish it. Um, and then over there, we're going to work on a training uh, yard for them. So I'll get the base down. Did you guys see something happening right there? 
It was weird. It looked very strange. I mean, this is where, like, their main hub is anyways, but... It was right here. Like, somebody was jumping up here. That could be what it was. Um, yeah, so... The main training hub and all that stuff. And we're gonna... This place is gonna... We're gonna leave it for now. And when we come back, it's gonna be the battle. I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. Um, I do need to get some iron and bring them over here and some pumpkins. Um, so we can get a couple iron golems outside of here. And it'll be interesting. It'll be fun to watch because that's really what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be watching the battle. I'm going to put myself in creative mode and uh, we're going to check those out. By the way, I was doing um, inspired by... B00's Terra Firma Craft um, series. I'm going to, when I cut down trees, leave the stumps from now on. Unless, like, I actually need to move the tree. Um, but for the most part, I want to give this sort of um, look that these trees were all cut down so they could have the lumber to build this wall. Um, sort of another historical thing. And as time goes on, we'll take out the stumps because the stumps would have rotted away after you know 20 years or so anyways that is going to do it for today's episode guys kind of a shorter episode but i wanted to show you what i had done um i've actually decided to leave this little lake here because i i really like it honestly it's really nice and quaint um we're going to build a dock sort of thing here to kind of get out to this and I want to fish off that. And then I sort of figured, um, I like it. I like it. All right. So, without further delay, until next time, happy mining and crafting. <laughs>